Lady C Queen Foodie. Lady C Queen Foodie is mostly mukbangs, but she'll occasionally season her channel with shopping hauls, scratch off tickets, and cooking videos. During food videos, and there are a metric crap ton of them, there are a variety of topics, but they don't start until the eating starts, and she doesn't eat before giving thanks for the provision. Because Lady C is down with the big C. She tries out trending and new restaurant menu items, participates in food-related tags and challenges, and she hosts frequent live streams. You see that Parmigiana twist? How many think that twist is under the lid? <laughs> That's okay, though. Lady C Queen Foodie does all the foods. Slow-cooked, fast-cooked, and somebody else cooked. So if you're here for the food, or you're a foodie also, check out Lady C Queen Foodie. I Kill Pretty Things. I Kill Pretty Things is all about Maya, aka Mrs. Milkshake, and her family trying desperately not to kill pretty things. She also has a huge hydrangea fascination that's just downright sick. Her race for the cure usually takes her to pretty much every gardening center known to man. How else is she going to turn her suburban backyard into a relaxing suburban oasis? You know, if she doesn't turn the plants into the literal living dead. In the meantime, I Kill Pretty Things is making over the backyard garden, plant by plant, flower by flower, paycheck by paycheck, sharing all the joys and the headaches of creating that perfect garden. I Kill Pretty Things also manages to keep other pretty things happy, except that cat. I don't know what's happening there. If you ever want to see her garden, be sure and call first, because you don't want to know what they t <laughs> what they do to unwanted guests. I have never considered bagworms to be pretty things, but uh, bagworms roasting on an open fire. <laughs> It's not that she's afraid to fail. I Kill Pretty Things has garden fails all the time because she tries new methods of planting to maximize the growth and reward for her efforts. Maintaining that success, yeah, that might be tricky. And if she manages to kill some more plants, there's always another garden center where she can buy seeds and plant M&Ms. So if you're into frugal gardening or maybe you're just trying not to get electrocuted while you're gardening, yeah, check out I Kill Pretty Things. Bone Daddy 2. Okay, I, I don't know about you all, but I want to know what happened to the Bone Daddy without the 2. Who's the real Bone Daddy? I bet Piggy knows. Piggy the Cockatiel probably knows Bone Daddy's head is warmer than his shoulder also. Not sure if Tam wanted piggy feathers in her face, because she sure ducked, didn't she? Tam ducked while a piggy flew on a Bone Daddy's head. Yeah, figure that one out. Bone Daddy 2 takes us all over the South, bravely following the Roadside America app to see America's oddities and roadside attractions. Even though some of those roads are clearly off the beaten path and have been left to become treasured pieces of ancient history... Mike and Tam also do lots and lots of mail calls, most of them from YouTubers like you. That means they also spend time close to home, and they're burning rubber on those roads, too. Some of the places they visit are so obscure, only a channel named Bone Daddy 2 would want to see them. But if you want to see them, too, check out Bone Daddy 2. Mukbangs, scratch-offs, and a whole lot of food. Creating a backyard oasis frugally traveling the north georgia roads and seeing all there is to see are these your people <laughs>